I think um, I'm, I'm hearing that a couple of my colleagues are considering uh, walking away altogether. And there's always... Um, there are some? There are. I've heard there's a couple that are, are thinking okay. about whether or not they would run or right. not. And there's always an opportunity for turnover. I've seen, I've seen some unusual things happen over the 20 years I've been involved. Um, no, you know, no seat is safe. I say that with respect. No seat is owned by any one incumbent. You have to reapply every four years. You need to go out there and based on your track record, say to the citizens of our community, did I do a good job for you? Do you think I represented your interest? If so, give me the opportunity to run again, period. It's a privilege to serve. Um, it's a privilege to serve in this community. It's a lot of work, John. Mm -hmm. A tremendous amount of heavy lifting behind the scenes that most people are not aware of. Uh, but it's an exciting time in our community. And, and really, with the absence of the mayor and with Eddie leaving, it's going to leave a huge void. Uh, he has a presence that's bigger than life at City Hall. And whether people like him or not is irrelevant. Whether people like this politics or not is irrelevant. Uh, you have to respect the guy's work ethic. And, I mean, he was a 24-7 mayor, no doubt about it. Could um, you be a 24-7 mayor? Uh, I could be a very effective mayor, no doubt about it. No, so I'm not concerned you've about seen in the last few years is say, boy, I can't do that. Absolutely not. There's not, nothing not that concern. you've seen is say, no. I can't do that. Right. Not at all. Yeah. Okay. So how do you sum up Eddie Francis as mayor? Uh, Eddie Francis as a mayor probably was um, a mayor during the most difficult decade in recent history. Uh, when you look at the economic impact that the global meltdown had on this community. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we typically go through a tough time during any economic downturn. So he navigated some tough waters, but historical, I tell you, I, I studied at York University about three years ago. You know what we were talking about up there? The uh, farming out of parking enforcement, um, what we did with uh, garbage pickup. Those were case studies around privatization of public service. Um, it, really, it, it's, it really changed the trend of how municipal governments look at things. Toronto looked at the Windsor model and they decided to do the same. The reality is municipalities collect about 7 or 8% of the taxes you pay, John, on an annual mm -hmm. basis. That's all we get. When you look at the services that you get in a the city, they're the services that most affect you on a day-to-day -day basis. So resources have been shrinking and he had to navigate in a 10-year period where there were some serious challenges. Did you go to the bullpen? We kept hearing about these bullpen yeah. sessions on Friday afternoon. Did you go all the time? I, I don't go all the time. That's because I have a full-time job. I okay. can't get away. So did you not know anything because you didn't go and he, unless you asked, you were told? I mean, no. that, that whole style that he had, and he said it here on the shows, I'm not saying anything, but did you feel fully informed as your mayor? Yeah, I, I tell you what, um, I never voted on something where I didn't feel uninformed on. Uh, I'll give Eddie this credit as well, and, and he, I'm sure, would give me the credit for this. When I've needed something from him, I've reached out to him, and he's done the same with me. I don't go every Friday afternoon. It's simply because I'm one of two or three counselors. I'm one of three counselors that works full-time, John, so mm -hmm. I, I don't have the latitude during the day that some of my colleagues have, but it seems to have served me well, and I've been around since 94, with the exception of that little vacation I had. No vacation. Martians. The Martians. A when the Martians attacked. It was a secondment. Yeah. Take me to your leader. Remember that. <laughs> Uh, okay, d well, last question. Did we raise taxes? Have we held the line on taxes? Yes or no? We've held the line. So we've not raised taxes? We've not raised taxes. All right. Thank you, Bill Mara. We'll guess we'll talk to you June or early July, but you've made up your mind. Don't influence because the decision's already made. Have you put it in the mail? Why don't you do Mail it to me and I will not open it. Mail it in the mail. Put it in the snail mail, or they call it, and I will not open it. We will open it on this show, what you write. Okay. Sounds good, John. You've made up your mind. I've made up my mind. You gonna mail it to me? I'll think about it. Right. Postage has gone up, so I've yeah. got to consider that in my All budget. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still going. Doesn't matter who it is on that chair. See you next time on Face to Face.